be poor, but you will not fail kindergarten. This is the challenge of the Child and Family Network Centers, CFNC. CFNC was founded by a group of mothers living in the Cameron Valley Housing Project in Alexandria, Virginia, when they were told that their 17 children would not be eligible to begin first grade because they had not succeeded in kindergarten. How was this possible? They realized that their children had not had the benefit of preschool, where they would have received both academic preparation and social skills development. Barbara Mason answered the ad to change the life of a child. And the mothers themselves hired me uh, to start a school with them. So we all came together and we started this little tiny school and the whole first year we had maybe six kids and now we have about 200 so word spread over the years um, that what we were doing made a difference and not only did we add children along the years we also figured out that in order to really make the difference in the life of a child we had to work with the families and strengthen families uh, so that they could support their children's education and so we've added Along with children, we've added services, family support service, English as a second language, health services, and anything else that will strengthen a family. Um, whoever needs health care in the family gets it, and particularly we're obviously focusing on the preschooler. But if you don't support families in a holistic sense and see them as whole people, in a whole community, um, then you're missing the boat. I try to ask them questions or either they will come and tell me things about my son, about how he's doing. And every, well, ever since he started coming up here, he's been doing a lot better. To really prepare those children for kindergarten, you have to have these children grow up in a stable environment. Uh, they need your parent supports in order to be able to get ready to learn. Uh, if the parents' lives are in upheaval and their environments are in upheaval, that cannot take place. In addition, a family literacy program and English as a second language classes have been instituted for parents. A lot of them start reading with the children, you know, not only in Spanish but also in English. And uh, I think, and even grandparents, you know, they, they get more involved in their. Uh, grandchildren's education. And they are learning their numbers, they're learning colors, they're learning literacy skills in the context of play, while teachers are facilitating and enriching their learning by building vocabulary, by labeling what they're doing, putting words to the actions that they are performing during their playtime, which we call work time because play is children's work. One of the many successes of CFNC has been the paid parent program that hires mothers as classroom aides. It's just a wonderful experience to be able to see how kids learn through play. What children learn here is that school is the place where you get the good stuff. You know, it's a po has a positive impact for them. The accomplishments are many, but the work that remains is daunting. 
In these financially difficult times, the need for CFNC is greater than ever, yet it has had to cut the number of children it serves and programs it provides. Well, I'd like to see more three-year-olds get educated. Um, pretty much now we have to concentrate on the four-year-olds because of funding. We need, we need funding. I mean, absolutely no doubt about it. Luckily, we have a governor in the state of Virginia who gets it, understanding it will it makes huge benefits, cost benefits later. So uh, even we are getting more money from Governor Kane, but we need other people to join him and help us to get full tuition so we can help more children. Our mission is to do something to save these children. We cannot let them down, and we cannot afford to let our community down. Every dollar we invest in them now saves us thousands in the long term in the form of reduced crime costs, welfare dependency, and economic losses. Our investment is their hope. Please join us in extending a hand to these children who will desperately grab the hand of anybody kind enough to offer it. Oh!